Hello everyone, and welcome back to Clash, or How to Clash for Noobs. So, in this episode, well in this part, I'm going to be showing you guys how to counter, and what counters are. So, I went ahead and pre-constructed this deck. This, this deck uses cards found in the training camp, and the first two arenas. I only did one epic because hard, epics are kind of hard to get early on. Now, just real quick, any card can be used. Just because a card has a higher rarity does not mean it's any better. So just because I've got, ooh, let's say, Sparky does not mean it's necessarily better than Skeletons. Skeletons can be used through a distraction tool. In fact, the, the skeletons actually counter the Sparky. They kind of make him waste his hit, which takes 5 seconds to charge up. So he's a really good counter, counter for him. Anyways, see this deck is only an average of 3.9, which is good. So yeah, I don't got anyone to help. Oh, got someone to help me test, so I'll be right back. And I'm back. Took a while for someone to accept this, but... Oh, it's Joshing. Okay, so... Basically... Okay, so he's throwing out... Fire Spirits, I don't really need to counter it. Now, a big thing you don't want to do is just throw like a Fireball out to just to damage a tower. And if you hit the King Tower, you activate it, which you don't want to do. Because in it, then it's gonna start to shoot. Now, a good counter for the Valkyrie is a mini packer because he does high damage. And the Valkyrie does splash. Oh, well, a good one for the for the Hog Rider is also the so mini packer, but also the minions. A bad counter for the Baby Dragon is the minions, but if you can distract with something like an Ice Golem, then the minions will attack it while it's attacking the Ice Golem and it will die. So, those are. Now, Ice Golem is not in Loxville Arena 8, but you can use something like the Knight. <coughs> now, I don't really got a good counter for... My counter for the Bolt was the Minion, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to kite the Bowler by throwing the Giant here. Uh, and the Bowler doesn't chase, but... Ugh. Okay, I can throw my Archers right there to, to shoot from the side and distract the Valkyrie. Uh, I'm gonna just let that, uh, that, what should we call it, that hog rider go? Now I'm gonna throw the witch. The witch is not the best counter, but I don't have much to counter against it right now. And you see, he just activated my king tower, because he knew both my arena towers are almost down, which is why he did that. So yeah. Uh, okay, let's throw the Valkyrie to counter those fire spirits. I'm going to. Okay, I'm gonna throw the giant down. Now I'm gonna throw the mini Pekka down. Here I'm gonna throw the archers down to, to take out the baby dragon. Now I'm gonna get my arrows ready in case he throws down something like a skeleton army. Or he's just gonna throw down a Valkyrie. Now a giant witch is a really good combo. So. The giant tanks for the witch. The witch just splash damage so you can deal with weak things that would normally kill the giant really quickly. While also spawning skeletons which are really squishy. So that way, um the whatchamacallit the, the skeletons can build up and just destroy the tower. It's a it's a hard combo to beat early on. You know, Shawshank beat me there, because for one, he's more experienced than me, so he knows how to play better. Plus, I'm kind of using a deck that I'm not really used to and stuff. Plus, he had better. I didn't have the right, all the right counters. Now, there are, you can. I'm just gonna tell him one sec. So, 
here's a, another big thing of this game is improving your decks. So let's say you make a deck, you just throw together a quick deck, and you go and battle someone, and they beat you really badly. It doesn't mean you, your deck is bad. Maybe you haven't played it right, so you try it a couple few times. If you're still not really winning with it, if, and you're starting to get a bit used to it, and you're still not really winning with it, then it's time to try changing the card around it. So in this case, I'll change the archers with the musketeer, which does higher damage to a single target. There's only one of them. More health. About the same hit speed, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, slightly faster hit speed. More health. More damage. Uh, I believe more. Yeah, more damage per second. Same speed. Target the same. A bit higher range. But one more elixir, and there's only one. So, yeah. If you try. Now I'm gonna try to go into the battle with a musketeer. Now, look, okay, now I'm gonna show you how to build up a good push. So, the best way to build up as a push is by starting a unit here at the back. You don't always want to start at the bridge. That's if you start at the bridge, that's considered a rush, which can you can do. But they can be, they can be really strong. But sometimes you just want to build up a push. You never put like weak weak troops like a witch or a musketeer in front of the giant and oh look he used poison to take them all out but i got the minions taking out the cheap little skeletons but you see how it pretty much just destroyed his tower he almost got mine anyways i'm gonna throw arrows to take out the minions the bandit is just gonna go i'm just gonna let the bandit go now you see how this tower is almost down that i can arrows and destroy so i'm gonna work on taking out the other tower and at the very end, I'm going to take out that tower. So that way I don't have to activate the king tower and deal with it. Here's another pretty good combo. So the Valkyrie will deal with any skeleton army thrown down. While the mini P.E.K.K.A does huge damage. And boom, look at that. Huge damage right there. Now to counter the giant, I just simply throw out a witch. Now I can throw the fireball here to take out that tower and do some damage to the other tower. So yeah. Now, oh. Here's one of my favorite strategies to do. Throw a musketeer here, so I can just quickly do a bit of chip damage. That is something that can come in handy. If your your tower is almost down. Now I'm going to throw a Valkyrie here because I know the bandit will dash. And the Valkyrie will do damage to both. Now I'm going to throw the giant down over here. The witch here. And I'll throw the minions here. Now I'm going to wait for the skeletons to build up over here. A bit. And then I'm going to arrow them. And boom. Look at that. I win. That's, that's why building up pushes is so important and, and counter and you need to counter with the right cards there are two types of counters there are counters and there are hard counters now a hard uh, now a regular counter is like let's say so i'm trying to look here so a good counter for the, the lava hound is the executioner because the executioner will kill all the lava pups that spawn on death. So he's a really good counter. But a hard counter. So let's say your opponent throws down a musketeer. You throw down the mini P.E.K.K.A. And the mini P.E.K.K.A. will almost one shot. That is a hard counter. So yeah. Anyways. So yeah, that's going to be it for this episode so yeah now i'm gonna give you guys a little quiz so oof, hold on let me i'll be right back also something i forgot to mention 
was that? So let's say your opponent sends out a big a, a push against you, and you manage to defend it, and you have a few troops left over, and you build you can build a push out of that, and send it at, which would send a big push at them while they're low on elixir. That kind of a push is called a counter push. They can be really strong when when done at the right times. Meaning, don't always do them. You just need to kind of figure out when's the best time because you need the right cards and all that for that. Anyways, so here's the question for today. Which card is the best counter for most tanks that is a troop? Thanks for watching and yeah, if you enjoyed the video, comment, like, share, and subscribe. And peace out.